Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav and today we will learn Auto IT from scratch and we will go very basic step by step and learn what is Auto IT, why to use Auto IT and how can you use Auto IT with your Selenium scripts. Towards the end of this session I will also discuss some useful tips with you. So let's get started and let us first see what is Auto IT. So Auto IT is a automation tool which is used for automating the Windows GUI. So Selenium you can use only for browsers or HTML components and if you have any need to do automation on anything outside the browser then we can use some other tools and Auto IT is one of them and it uses a combination of keystrokes, mouse movements and windows control manipulation to automate the task which is not possible using only Selenium. So in Auto IT we can write a script which can be converted into a compressed standalone exe file and this is something that we can use and call from our Selenium scripts. And Auto IT is a freeware and it works on Windows. So if I go to my browser and I will go to Google and let us search for Auto IT here. I will say Auto IT and if I go to the official website of Auto IT, let us see what does it says. So this is the official website www.autoitscript.com and here you can see it says Auto IT v3 which is the latest version is a freeware basic like scripting language designed for automating the Windows GUI and general scripting. Okay, So this is what Auto IT is in very simple way and why do we need to use it as I discussed Selenium cannot handle anything which is outside the browser so any non browser or non HTML elements we cannot handle with Selenium. So in your automation in real world you will uh, encounter situations where you have to do a file upload and something like you have to interact with a windows authentication box or any other non browser interaction in those situations selenium will not help and you will need to get help from an external tool and auto it is one of them so this is why we need auto it and now let us see how to use auto it with selenium in five simple steps the very first step is we have to download and install auto it from the auto it website so i will go here this is the is auto it website and here if you go to the main website here auto it if you go to this drop down you will find downloads here click on downloads and here if you go a little more down you will find the current version so as of now the current version is 3.3.14.5 and here you can get auto it software from here so download it from here so it will start download I am cancelling the download because I have already downloaded it and let me just show you if I go to my downloads folder I have this downloaded here and I will now install it so you can download and then you can click on the exe which will start the installation and say run so let me minimize other windows so this will start the installation wizard for auto it say next and read and accept the license and then again it will give you the recommendation so in case you are using 64 or some other 32 bit version of windows it will accordingly recommend the best for you so say next here and keep it by default say next and next and install so it will by default go to program files so this will install auto it and let us just wait for the installation to complete it is done and say finish so it will open this help uh, guide and i will tell you about this in a moment for, from now let me first take you to the installation folder so it has installed here in c program files x86 and here you can see the auto it folder so it has installed here so we are done with step number one which is download and install auto it the second step is we have to download auto it script editor which is city and then we have to install it so this is a editor for writing auto it scripts and again if you go to the auto it website if you go a little more down you will see this auto it script editor city and you can download the editor here click on download editor and here you will get this page 
and here you can download the editor so you can go a little more down and you will get the latest current version here and you can download the exe file again in my case i have already downloaded it so let me just show you in my downloads folder i have this city auto it exe and i will again install it i will click on the exe file and it will start the installation wizard i will say run next read and agree the license agreement and this will start the installation for the auto it editor which is city and finish and again if you go to your auto it folder which should be in c program files and in my case it is installed in c program files x86 if you go to auto it you will find your city folder also here so we are done with the first two steps let us see the third step is we have to open au3info.exe and locate objects on the windows gui so this is kind of a object finder and you will find this in your auto it folder you will find this au3info.exe so if i click here let us see what happens so you can see we have got this window and this is a finder tool so you can use this finder tool here and you can drag to anything on your windows and it will identify it so for example if i have opened this particular window if i click here if i drag this finder tool you can see it is highlighting different objects so if i go and leave it here you can see the title is desktop the class is cabinet w class and here you can see the class and instance and then here you can see the other properties windows control visible text hidden text and so on so you will get different properties and using these properties we can create a script to interact with all these windows elements so now we have to create a selenium script where we can use this auto it script so let us take an example i will go to a sample website called uh, let us say i will go to tiny upload this is a sample website for a demo on upload so this is tinyupload.com and here you can see we can uh, click on this choose file and it will open this window and this is something that selenium is incapable of interacting with so this window to select a file to select a location and click on open button this is something we will have to do with auto it so now let us write a script for auto it and that is our third step uh, third step we have done the fourth step is create auto it script and test so now I have to open the editor so I will go here inside my city folder under auto it folder and you will find this city.exe if you click here it will open the city editor so you can see the city editor is here and let me just use this so this is the editor and now you can write your script here so now there are many commands in auto it and i will just tell you how to use the commands i will uh, tell you some useful tips on using commands in a moment but for now what we will do is so here you will say we have a command called control focus so this is something we can use to focus on an object and then we have something like control click to click on an object then we have a control set text to set a text into a text box or any object so this is what we will be using and for that first let me identify the object that i have to work on so this is the window and the very first thing i have to focus on this file name this text box where i will be adding the location of my file so i will use this finder window finder tool for auto it drag this tool to file name here and leave it and you can see it has given us the title which is open and the basic control info is edit and instance is one and this is what we will be using on our auto it script so i will go to my city editor and here i will say i have to focus on this particular object so i will say control focus and it will auto complete and then i will start the brackets and you can see it is giving us the syntax so the first thing is title which is this open so i will say title is open make sure that you keep it case sensitive and then we have to give a text here so text is something we can leave we do not 
uh, need it is not mandatory and then we have to give a control id now control id you can take it from here so whatever you get in the basic control info you can use the class along with the instance so this is edit one so i will say control id here is edit one and that's it so i will close the bracket so this is the very first statement so this will get our focus on this particular file name text box and now we have to write the location of our file which we have to upload so the next command i will use is control set text and again i will have to give the title so this is the same object which is open and then text we can leave blank and control id is edit one and then i have to give the location so for that let me go to my uh, d drive and i will select some file from here let me say this document one dot pdf or i can also create a new file i will just create a text file here i will say this is file one dot txt and i will copy the location which is d file one dot txt this i have to give here so i will paste it here and that's it i will close the bracket so this is our second command and the third command is we have to click on the open button so now i have to identify the open button which is from here this open button so i will again go to my finder tool and drag it over the open button and you can see the properties have changed and i will leave it and you can see the properties title is open and class is button and we can use button one so i will again go to my editor and say now i will say control i have to click there right so i will say control click bracket open title is open text we can leave blank and control id is button one so you can see the control id here button one and that's it so our script is done i will save it so you can save it click on here save or press control space bar on your keyboard and i will save on my d drive so you can see the file type should be auto it or the extension is au3 so by default it will take it and otherwise you can uh, manually give the extension au3 and i will say this is file upload script and save and if i go to the location and let us see this is our file upload script for auto it with the extension dot au3 and now we have to compile it so if you now right click on this file you will find the option compile script you will also find compile script x64 x86 so you can use any of them as per your operating system uh, you can use compile script here as well so here or i am on windows 64 also just for your information if you want to see the bit size of your operating system you can do a right click on my computer or this pc go to properties and here you will find the bit size so you can see in my case it is 64 bit so i will now say here right click and i will say compile script x64 and it will create a exe file so do you see this it has created a exe file and this is now an executable file that i can use also the other thing that you can do now is if you do a right click on the auto it script with the dot au3 extension which is this one and if you right click and say edit script it will again open in the script editor and here if you go to tools you will find all these options to compile to test run so we can actually run this also and let me show you to uh, let me show you this running and to see this running i will also add some sleep statement so that you can see this running properly i will add a delay of 3000 milliseconds which is equal to three seconds and i will copy this and paste it after this action as well and now i can run this and to show you running let me just close all these windows and here 
let me also close this and I will split my screen so that you can see this running so let me just split my screen here okay so this is my script and this is the window where it will do the action so this is the window so I will do a I will go to tools and I will say test run and you will see what happens so it focuses here and then it will add the location which is d file one txt you can see here and then it will click on open and you can see it has come here file one dot txt so our script is running fine and now I can use this exe file into my selenium script and to do that I will open my eclipse here and go to my project and here I will create a new class and here the last step is call auto it script and selenium test which we are going to do now so you can create a new class or in the existing class as well you can do it I am showing you a demo now so in the demo folder I will create a new class right click new class and I will name it as auto it demo and we have got a class and I will create a function here public static void test and here I will say web driver driver equals new chrome driver so I am initializing a chrome driver here and let me auto complete this yes chrome driver from org open queue selenium and I also have to give the location of my chrome driver exe so uh, let me take this from an earlier script just to save some time so this is the location I will just copy this and paste it here so all this we have done in our earlier session so I'm not going into detail I'm just setting the property webdriver.chrome.driver to the location wherever my chrome driver.exe is and then I'm initializing web driver driver equals new chrome driver I will have to import web driver from org open selenium and now I can use driver I will say driver dot get and I have to go to the URL which is this one tiny upload dot com so let me just copy it from here tiny upload dot com and I will go here and here now I have to after going here I have to click on this button choose file so I will see what is the locator of this file I will right click go to inspect and here I can see the name is uploaded file so I will use this locator name so I will say driver dot find element by dot name and the name is uploaded file and I will say dot click this should be click yes and after I click here so after I will click here I will get this window and then here we have to call our auto IT script so the syntax is you can use the class runtime dot get runtime and dot exe exec and then the location of your auto IT exe file so I will say here runtime so runtime is a class and dot get runtime dot exec and the string command so the string command is our location of our auto it file which is located here this is the file so I will copy this location I will say file upload script dot exe so this is the location I will copy this from here and give it in my script here and I will have to import this or I will have to add throws declaration so I can either surround with try catch or add a throws declaration here and now you can see this runtime is a class if you hover over it you will see every Java application has a single instance of class runtime that allows the application to interface with the environment in which it, the application is running and get runtime is a function where we can get the current instance of the runtime and then 
we are calling our auto IT script here and after this I can just say I will just pause for some time so I will say thread dot sleep for three seconds and then I can say driver dot close okay and let me say throws exception so that it handles thread dot sleep as well so this is our simple code so let us try to run this and for that I will have to add a main method you can also use test ng I am using a main method here for now and I will call this test method inside the main method and I will also have to throw the exception here so this is fine so let us now see I will do a right click run as Java application and let us see what happens so it opens the URL tiny upload and now it goes here and it actually did it very fast so you can see it has already uploaded the file and closed the browser so just to uh, see if it did it correctly uh, what I will do is I will not close the browser this time what I'm going to do is I will also do a change in the script so I will open this into the editor and this time I'm going to select another file so I will create another file here file2.txt I will say new file text document file2.txt and I will write something here and close it save and close it and this is what I have to upload so in my auto IT script I will say this is file2.txt and save it close it and again I have to compile it so I will do a right click and I will say compile script so you can see it is again this is the same compiled here and now if I use it let us run our program again I will run this again let us see what happens this time so it opens the chrome browser goes to tinyupload.com and selects the file file2.txt and clicks on open and you can see file2.txt here right and this time I have not closed the browser so that you can see the upload is successful it has uploaded it and of course if I click upload now you will find file upload started and you can see it here as well so you can download it again from here and if I click here you can see file2.txt here right so this is how you can use auto IT and let us also look at some useful tips so you can use the auto IT help application and I have shown you this earlier this is the auto IT help so let me minimize all other applications and show you auto IT help so here if you go here you can find a lot of information so you have introduction license frequently asked questions so this will be very useful you also have using auto IT which will have a lot of information on how you can use it auto IT you have tutorials here so my first script hello world and so many tutorials here and also if you go to index and search for commands you will find all the commands that we can use so here in this session we used control click and if you if you go here you will find all the details about this uh, we used control focus if you click here you will find all the details about control focus so this is very useful and in case you have closed it you can go back to your location where your auto IT was installed and here you will find this auto IT help.exe so you can start it from here and then read the documentation the other thing is you can re read the auto IT docs and if you go to Google and say auto IT docs you will get a link here documentation auto IT if you go here you will see the documentation and this is again a very useful document you will find all the documentation and helpful information about auto IT like frequently asked questions and history and use and you can see the language reference as well and then you can get some function reference so if you click function reference 
here you will get all the possible functions so you can see again control focus control enable disable whatever you want to use you can search and you can look at the documentation so these are going to be very useful for you so this was all about this session i hope auto it is very clear to you i will suggest that you do some more hands-on so that this concept is very clear to you and also share your knowledge with others and help everyone i will meet you in the next video thank you so much for watching